Hello and how are you? My name is Mohin Umbar and we're coming to our fourth lecture of, com of creating a complete hotel management system using plain PHP and my SQL as our main technologies. So I hope you've been following from the very first lecture. If you haven't and this is your first video, I recommend you to go and watch the very first video uh, whereby we shall give you the assets and all the files that you need to get started with the project and uh, also understanding how the end product will look like or the, our main target is, uh, understanding what our main target is. So with that much said, we shall always do 40 minutes, so I'll go ahead and start our timer and then jump straight to our today's project. Uh, so in the previous lecture, we were able to do a complete registration screen, a registration page, and we could be able to know whether the user is a customer and direct them to the customer's page and whether the user is um, an, an administrator and we direct them to administrator's page. So at this moment, uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, and we are going to go ahead and uh, add uh, the logic of logging in so if you open a project like this if you open our project like this at this moment to begin from this home so if i go ahead and click on uh, login you see that login is not functioning does not function so let's go ahead and implement the login logic so in programming most of the time we don't repeat ourselves so since login screen i mean since login screen looks much more like uh, i mean works much more like uh, a registration screen what we're going to do we're going to just go ahead and get the registration screen and copy it and paste it in the login screen and then we shall modify just a few changes okay so let's go ahead and do that so i'll go ahead and come to register the php i select everything here control a control c and then i come here to login dot php that's the file that we create for logging in so i'll remove everything here and then i do ctrl v i paste so after doing so come back and refresh you'll see that uh, in our login screen sorry let me go to login dot uh login dot php you'll see our login screen just looks like more, much more like our registration screen so what you're going to do you're just going to modify here, um, we are going to put here the word login, please sign into your account, something like that. We are going to put login, so if you say, we shall say, if you don't have an account, go ahead and register. That's what we are going to do here, okay? Uh, yeah, that's what we are going to do, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll come to our login screen, our login screen, uh, that's our login screen. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to search for this word. Uh, welcome first i'm going to put here maybe sign in so i'll go ahead and control f and press control v and then i'll find the word uh, welcome first so i'm going to change this one to maybe uh login or sign in something like that i just simply put login so if i put login here and then I can say, please sign into your account. I think that is, please sign into your account. So I can leave it from here. And then, uh, that's okay. So, uh, please sign into your account. And then, I'll come here. And remove, we don't need full name. So I'm going to remove full name. I'm just going to leave username, email, and password. So let's go ahead and remove these fields. So I'll come here where there is full name. So I'll go ahead and remove full name and then come and remove also uh password confirmation okay i'll remove this second one password so i can remain with only one password uh so i'll put here i'll go ahead and refresh so if you refresh this is what we have so i'm going to go ahead and say uh new on platform then i connect this and register.php i think that is okay register.php only that register does not connect with what with the login so what we're going to do, we are uh, we shall connect the register to login later. All right. So let's go ahead and change this word from register to login. So I'll come here and change this one from register to login. Okay, or sign in. So if I come and refresh, you'll see that you now have login or sign in. 
Now I'm going to change the submission of uh, this form from register and I change it to login. So I'll come here in our, to our form on top here. I'll come where there is action. Uh, what is this? Action, what is action? Yeah, instead of having login.php, I'll go ahead and put register. I mean, instead of having register.php, I'll go ahead and put login.php. So right now it will be able to submit to this very form. So if I come now on top here, let's go ahead and do now the logic of uh, real logging in. So I'll come here on top, then you check here it is uh, post method. I want to make sure that it is post method. So we are going just to be, you are going to be interested in username. Okay, and then the password. So this password too, we don't need it. So I can just simply put here, die. I can, can just simply say maybe uh, echo. And then I just put a pre tag. Uh, okay. And then dump whatever has come and then die. Okay. So there I'll be just displaying what will have been submitted from the login screen. So let's go ahead and refresh and then go ahead and put, for example, I put this just wrong information and then I put at gmail.com. So if I submit, you'll see that everything has been submitted. Okay. So everything has been validated and it has been submitted. So let's, let's go ahead and now try to log in someone. So to log in someone, you know, uh, let me first remove these things so you can not be confused again. Okay, let me first remove these ones. Okay, let me remove beginning from here so I can take you step by step. And I remove up to take up to here. All right, think. Okay, I want to remove this one. Okay, so here we are. So you see our data has come, the username and password. All right, so what we're going to do next is now to to get, uh, so if I come here, uh, you'll see that, okay, I'll no need to validate if the passwords are the same, I'll not really want this one. So I can just simply put here, uh, password, this is our password. So uh, now first things first, uh, first things first, let's, let me first remove this one. Okay, first things first, we are going to check if the user uh, exists on our database, okay? That's what we're going to check, okay? So to do that, you know, we have uh, we have this field. Uh, we have, uh, we have uh, our function here of getting data from the database, db select, okay? So I'm going to use this db select to get the user from the database. So I can say user, I can say maybe users you know this db select will always get for us a list of of items so users equals to db select and then i pass uh, the table of course called users and then i put where the email is equal to the email that has been sub submitted to us okay so here i'll be able to expect i'll be expecting the users okay so i'm going to check if this table is empty i go ahead and check if the session i mean i count if the response is zero i mean i count if the user that have been returned back is zero i go ahead and say form errors and then i put in the username i can say user does not exist or user with email with provided email does not what does not exist and then i, I direct back to the what to login.php this is where we are okay so that is how we shall check. So I'm putting error in the session like this, and I've already shown you how we do that. So uh, if it passes there, I can just simply put there and say, maybe good to go. I can just simply die there and say, good to, good to go. I hope you are still together there. Okay. So right now we're working on the login, on the logic of logging in a user. So if I come back and refresh now, you'll see that. Uh, we have an error which says that um, an array conversion at line 13, at line 13, so where is line 13? The line 13 is here. Uh, we check if email, okay, so we can remove this email validation, it's okay. Okay, so we just collect, you see, my file starts here. We just collect the email, the username, and password. 
okay and then we go ahead and run so let's go ahead and refresh and see submit again so line 13 line 13 in which file are we when login file yes line number 13 but not on, on line number 13 there is nothing which file okay in the file of functions.php and file of function.php function.php so still having an error on 13 here on 13 okay on 13 so there is a what there's an error an error so okay so when you're passing here uh select or get users it's not supposed to be an array by the way you see i've done a mistake it's supposed to be a what a string so i have to change this one to string by just simply put where email address where email equals to the provided email address okay so remember um just select from the table of users so in this second section you're passing the where so i'm saying um, i open this using double quotes not single quote using double quotes and then i say email equals to and then open single quote and then i put the email so that's how we can see so if i come and refresh now everything should be fine you can see it has returned back and then the error is here user does not exist i can say user with provided email does not exist all right so let's go ahead let's go ahead and get now the user which has an email let me put my email i believe my email already there 360 at gmail.com so let's go ahead and submit that so submit still it's not there let's go ahead and check what is actually on the database so come on localhost oh let's just register okay let's first check so I come on locals and then come to hotel pro hotel pro and then if we come to users so admin users and then you'll see there is nothing like the email that was provided let me go ahead and use this email mobs.exagmail.com so i can and put that email mobs.exagmail.com and then submit so you see it is putting me here to go to go so it means that it has found at least a user who has an email of that so here we are so here we are we are here now okay we are here good to go so once you have found the user so i mean that we can say now uh the user who we are who want to log in equals to the user in the first position of this array of what of users okay so after doing so we're going now to check if the password is correct so if you still remember our password our password is a hash okay our password is a hash meaning that uh, meaning that um, meaning that you cannot be able to know the password let me just even show you the power our password is saved on database okay let me show you how our password is saved on database so I'll just simply come here and put print underscore r and then dump it okay so I want to see what is in our database so if i come and refresh you'll see that this is our password so our password is just this weird thing that you cannot even tell it's in the database and you still remember how we saved it there if you still remember our register.php so we had to hash it this is what we call hash it hashing so even if a hacker falls on our what on our password still they cannot be able to uh, understand what is what is stored here so right now we're going to use php to check if the password that has been provided uh from from the website i mean the password that has been provided from the form it is the same as or it is matching with this password and to do that you use the php function so for example i can say maybe uh, for example if i want the password hash you can see just say uh password underscore hash equals to equals to what equals to user and then a pass password so this is our hash i have got here our hash okay let me just display it for you so this is the password hash so if i come here you see that's our password hash it is that one uh -huh. now our password a real password remember i've already got it on top there it is this one okay so if i come and refresh 
you see the person that has been submitted from what from the from the uh, from the um, from the form so now we're going to do now the validation and see if these passwords are, are working so to do that I'll just simply say if and then say uh, not so this is the opposite if the password is not verified I just simply put not and then I put password verify so use this function so in the first parameter use password verify as it is written there exactly make sure that I don't make any mistake so I put here a note if the password is not verified so in the in the first parameter I'm passing the password that has been sent from the form this one here in the second parameter I'm passing the password that is being that is saved on our database the hash which is this one so if they don't match so I say if they don't are not verified or if they, are, they don't match I'll just go ahead and put in errors and I put in a password and say put invalid password and redirect the back user to the I'll redirect the user back to the what to the login.php so that's how I can verify that the password match or they don't match so if I come and refresh uh, now you see I've been taken back and they say my password does not match all right so let's try to just for example let me put uh, what I think is correct 4321 doesn't match let me put 1234 okay one two three four works all right so it means that uh, it means that uh, what it means that uh, our password is working okay it means that our password is working so one two three four works and it means that our logic is also works all right so after doing that now we're going to log in the user like now we have got the account of the user we have verified the password is correct now if if they pass those two levels the other level is now to go ahead and log in the user so to log in the user we're just simply using session right now i'm not using cookie so just say session of user equals to this user so this user is going to be stored in this session wherever in every page where we go we shall be able to access this user through this session okay so i get this data that has come from the database and store it in this user then after doing so I redirect the person now. I check if the person is a customer. I take those people to what? I take this uh, these people to to customer.php. If the person is an administrator, I take him to admin.php. So I can just simply put here if uh, uh, user and then I put uh, User type, I think we've already done this one in function.php in the mean register.php. So if I go ahead and you'll see the logic is here. Okay. The logic is there. So let me just go ahead and just explain it. Uh, it says it says uh, if the user type is customer, then take that person to customer side. Then else take them to admin side. Whoever on admin you may also need to do it to check because admin must be exact admin so even if you do a mistake uh, still it won't allow someone who doesn't have the role of admin uh, to proceed there so I can just simply put here another if so let me just copy this guy like this so if the user type is what is admin that's why you should be able to direct you to admin and then else part I can just say uh, I send back someone to login something like that okay so I send back to login so I hope you members you have understood how that those steps work and how they are related so if I come here and I refresh now I should expect myself on customer dashboard okay now we find ourselves in customer dashboard Right, so now for the beginning we're going to make this uh, uh, this this person a what uh, we're going to make this person uh, we're going to make this person uh, a, 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 an administrator because we're going to begin by adding houses and the rest so to do so I'll just simply come here um,
I'll only allow here allow here administrator. So I'm going to come here and say this user for the first time only. Okay, I'm going to give him a user type of what? A user type of admin. Is, do you have user type anyway? Uh, uh, sorry, I'm in the wrong project. I'm in the wrong project. Sorry, guys. Uh, tell pro. Yeah. I think this is the one that you're using. Sorry about that. All right, so uh, this is the one. So I'll come here, the user type, and I make this person admin by default. Okay. So the rest, it's also be providing them uh, uh, the rules. So there you go. So you have now admin.php. Now I want us uh, to redirect to admin.php admin dot php so what we're going to do here we're going to put uh, a link that can take us to admin dot php whoever you can as well uh, just make it to be like that okay so let's go ahead and begin admin dot php so before we begin with admin dot php uh, so i can just simply put here to admin dot php and then i'll do to see admin dot php so before we begin to admin dot php of course we're going to first look at uh, the kind of thing that we're going to build and also the template that we're going to use to have the admin panel. So here is the template. I hope I have it here. Uh, I have it here. Alright, let me show you the template I'm going to use for the dashboard. Come to my project. Let me come to htdocs. I think it's here in admin. Sorry about that. I'm failing to get help with the template. I don't know how I call it. How I called it. Just a second. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I had it here. I don't know how I put it. I think it is here. Yeah, it is here. HTML templates. I think I should just put them where they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be here. All right. So, HTML templates. So, here is the template that we're going to use. So our website is going to look <laughs> literally like this, okay? Uh, so we have here different kind of templates. I think I should just put this template in uh, in the code so you can also be able to download it and you guys enjoy. Uh, let me see. Let me see how heavy it is. Let me see how heavy they are before I put them there. Ah, they are so heavy. I don't know what's making them heavy. Let me see here. This is 54. Hotel Pro. This is. So, the whole template that is taking space is the other first one. 
let's see also this one this one that you're going to use yeah i think this is the one that you're going to use all right so uh what i'm going to do right now is uh i'm going to just put these templates in the project so you can be able to download it on your own all right so i'm going to just get this one and this these two i don't need this third one so let me just open the project sorry about that uh, so you have your hotel pro and then come and put here templates so if you download this code uh, the link is in the description of this video you'll find there the templates okay so you'll not need to hustle again all right so right now what i want to do right now uh we are going to determine what we want to use as our main dashboard and then we incorporate it accordingly so here there are different kinds of dashboards so we here have for logics for logistics and then we have i think this one will work for us this one for logistics and then here we have for the what for the for the academy so we can pick one and then use it so you have here different landing pages different layouts and then different front pages for example that of landing and then you have that of checkout all right so let's focus uh we're going to just uh, i think we're going to check this uh, we're going to take only uh this uh first one okay this one that we're going to take all right so after determining template after determining what to click so we're going to create an administrators what administrators uh administrators administrators uh, how should i call it i'm going to create administrators uh whole dashboard okay so to do so i'm just going to simply get another visual studio code so you can have two visual studio codes or we can just simply keep this one since we already have everything in one space let me just commit these changes and i push them at once I'll commit and then i'll be pushing them in background all right so now uh now that you have the template in your project so you see your templates are here so after you've pulled the changes or after you've downloaded the latest template i mean the latest project just pull the changes you'll see that uh, i've pushed for you the template so you have this one is called admin one and then another one is called hotel two so that are the templates i'm going to use so if i come here now let's first determine what we want to use okay so if you want to test this file if you want to test the file you can just simply come to your project then come to admin one and then click on uh, i don't want to confuse you so much let me just keep only the template uh so html all right okay so i click there you'll be able to see the template so what i'm going to do i'm just going to keep it simple 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 let me just get this one and put it here and select everything so okay so i come here and select everything i remove only what i've copied and delete i select everything remove all and delete i want just to make your life easy let me move this one here let me delete this one so all right so when you come to admin you'll find this template there that's all you'll find there so if you come here and then click on uh, file you see it even has a chatting uh engine there all right so let's go ahead and select only uh analytics okay so after you determine after you determine the project what you want to make your main page for example me have decided i'm going to make this one our main what our main landing page okay uh so what you're going to do right now i'm going to uh copy 
uh, this content and put it in our main page and then we see how we organize our project okay so what i'll do i will um I will I will go ahead and just simply determine the file that I want to use. So the file that I want to use is called index dot index two dot html index two dot html. So what I'm going to do I'm going to find that file. So that file to find it you'll find it from your latest project that you've just downloaded or your latest template. So I come here to let me commit this and uh, also change send them. So I'll come to to what to template and then come to html and then come to uh index.php this one here you see everything is there can remove these things of HTRAC and the rest all right so you can see that uh, uh our index is there okay uh so after doing so i'm going to go ahead and copy all this data in from the template okay remember this is a template so i'm going to copy all this data from the template Six control A control C and then come to our admin dot I mean admin dot PHP what is admin dot PHP which is uh, here and then paste there the template so by doing so we shall have done what we shall have uh, uh, set our template so if I come and refresh now let's go to our real project which is this one here uh, here if I go sorry see here right now okay so if i go ahead and refresh so you're going to see that uh, at least things are there though they are not organized okay so for them they are not being organized the reason is uh we have not defined uh where this the, the what the assets are okay so let's go ahead and do that so we can go ahead and borrow a leaf from login.php remember login.php for it already finished uh setting all those things so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to just simply come and see how we link the assets here to there. So for example, we have the CSS, this file. So the file does not supposed to have the word in front of asset. We're not supposed to have anything like that. Okay. So let's go ahead here and go back to admin.php. So we get back to admin.php. So here on admin.php, okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to just remove these leading what? These leading uh these leading uh are you shall <laughs> backspace I mean folder back. I don't know how I should call it this. They allow you just to like go but one folder back. So you'll see that in this template almost they are on every asset. Every asset that we import, it has uh even the images, it has those kind of uh backslash eh? so first of all i'm going to remove this one and then we go ahead and remove those two so i can remove also this google tag you don't need it just for limit analytics you can remove those ones okay so i'm going to go ahead and remove those two so everything that is beyond that we may first remove it okay google fonts and first remove it for now all right so let's go ahead and uh, all right everywhere where you see there's a long thing like this it doesn't work all right we shall come that so here the, the main point is our the in front of us that we are not supposed to have anything so i just simply first select these two okay i'm i've selected these dash dash and then forward slash okay after selecting uh you go ahead after selecting you go ahead and uh, remove all these okay this dash dash dot so i press uh then uh so i've i've told you that i've just copied these so i'll cut them so then i press ctrl f so when i say ctrl f it means i'm searching and then i paste them so by doing so it will go ahead and bring for me every instance where those things are Okay, so I can just simply press Ctrl F and then say Alt and Enter. So when you press and Alt and Enter, it will enable you to multi edit. So I can just press Alt and Enter. So everywhere where those things were found, okay, I can be able now to either write something or I can be able to delete. Okay, so for me, I've decided to delete. So when I delete, it means that I can never remove this colonical by the way. If we, if if we if we delete, if we delete. 
um if you delete all right so if you delete it means that uh, if you delete the uh, that's, as i have shown it means that your assets are going to be like this without anything in front of them so if i come here and refresh you see our dashboard at least it has come you see our dashboard has come that is so nice okay that is so so nice though uh i see some other things have not come i was expecting it to be expanded by default but i'm seeing it's not expanded did we copy the right one we shall see so you said you can see now that that is how our database is and uh, it has successfully uh coming okay so that is how you link it so but it is collecting it is collecting uh it is collecting its data from this asset folder that i copied and put here so if you're not seeing that copy and paste here the fold fold uh copy and co co copy and co and paste here the the asset folder from the other default uh asset folder that i've shared with you all right so that's it so that's it if i come and I refresh we are able to see that so let's inspect and see what we've missed all right let's come to console so i've missed a lot of things but most of them are not so important hopefully uh, horizontal compact light svg dark that is there is no much javascript that we have missed uh, now that i'm saying yes there's some error of jquery okay so jquery was not found jquery was not found so let me go ahead and search properly okay jquery listen okay i think okay jquery was not found let's see how the js properly here okay so let's go ahead so the js jquery was not found so jquery is supposed to be in assets in assets so you see the problem is supposed to be in assets and then in the vendor and then in libs and then in jquery or is jquery it is here and then jquery.js this is where it's supposed to be okay um, and i think it is in the same place where we're expecting it so let's try to play around and see if jQuery will be loaded. Was it loaded? I think yes, yeah. Okay, let's try to uh, to determine the base like we did here. Okay, so I'll come on top and put this. So this link is where my project is located, okay? So it's going to be like the parent of all the links here. So if I come and refresh, come here and uh, see what is going on. So if we come here to console, we still see that uh, jQuery, a failed to load research from server. Or for so jQuery is the one that failed, not jQuery was not loaded. It is jQuery that failed to load some resource from Java from server. I think that is okay. Only that uh, I was expecting uh, this to be expanded by default. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see before we proceed. So, if I come and refresh, uh, sorry about that. Come and refresh. 
you see this is called index.html mm. index.html let's see so here we're having two index tools.html okay another one is in hotel okay i think we hope the right thing i'm not sure why it is not automatically expanding all right but that can be another worry not to worry for it uh right now let's first focus on the view work okay so that's it for today so we have literally had learned how to set up a template so uh in your free time i mean when you're practicing make sure that you can also reach this level so in the next lecture we're going to look at uh see if dark mode is working dark mode is not working but no problem uh in the next lecture we're going to look at uh now how to uh, we're going to look at in the next lecture we're going now to look at how to add rio uh how to add rio hotels in the system and uh, we are going to finish those forms and also fixing this admin because i'm seeing it's not stable yet so in the next lecture we shall stabilize that admin panel and set up uh, the the headers and menus so that we should not repeat ourselves and explain those concepts and then we shall go ahead and start uh, making our our what our days projects i mean our daily progress by creating uh, uh different things that will make this uh, hotel system appear to be complete so this is what we're going to mimic I want to make sure that we have a system like this one where someone can browse where we can have all these there and someone can be able to do what to browse and even place a checkout so that's what you're going to do what that's what you're going to do in the next video so make sure that you are be present that more lecture and make sure that you practice and be on the same page with me all right see you in the next lecture goodbye